Hey guys, today in Beauty Beacons, I would like to zoom in on Audrey Hepburn. Another one of those very requested people. <laughs> so Audrey Hepburn was a British actress during Hollywood's golden era, so the 50s and the 60s of the 20th century. She is considered by many to be the most beautiful or naturally beautiful woman in history. And during her time, her kind of girly, youthful beauty provided an alternative to the kind of sex symbol beauty of, um, say, Marilyn Monroe and Elizabeth Taylor. So she appealed much more to a female audience than a male one. Audrey Hepburn's style has become absolutely iconic and it is quite a timeless look, I guess you could say. And this is because she had a very simple, elegant, minimalistic style that just never really goes out of style. She said herself that elegance is the only beauty that never fades and that is definitely true for Audrey Hepburn. So I went for a look today that I think is pretty iconic for her. I looked at a lot of her pictures and like I said her style is very consistent pretty much throughout all of her life so it's pretty easy to pick out an iconic style for her. So this is what I went for today and I'm going to start with the makeup. So to start off I'm going to take my foundation foundation and make a nice base on my skin to make sure everything is even and flawless. So when that is blended in very well, I'm going to go over my dark circles with a little bit of concealer just to erase them and then also take that to any blemishes that I have. Then when my base is done, I'm going to powder everything off with a translucent pressed powder and then it is time to focus on those eyebrows. Now Audrey Hepburn's face, I'd say in general, has kind of that wind tunnel quality to it that they sometimes say about models these days. Her eyes and eyebrows are very much tilted upwards so I'm going to need to simulate that with makeup since my face is not like that at all. So I'm starting with the eyebrows and Audrey Hepburn had very typical eyebrows which weren't really fashionable at the time but she rocked them anyway and they were absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to try and imitate those. So I'm taking three eyeshadows and taking a black, a grey and a brown and I'm just going to mix those to make a color that is similar to my own hair color and I'm going to use this to create her eyebrow shape. Now her eyebrows are pretty straight and angular at the same time. <laughs> it's pretty hard to explain but yeah, you'll know what I mean when you see her pictures and very much um, angled upwards. Now I cannot go all out with this because I do have eyebrows myself that grow in a different direction so I'm going to try and kind of tweak my own eyebrows to look more like hers. So when the eyebrows are done I'm going to zoom in on the eyes and the first thing I'm going to do is try and alter the shape of my eyes again to create that kind of upwards direction for them. So I'm going to start by covering my entire eyelid in a neutral eyeshadow color that is very close to my natural skin color, just a little bit lighter. And when that is done, I'm going to take an eyeshadow that is just a touch darker than my natural skin color. And I'm going to take that and I'm going to use this to create kind of that upward shape. So I am just going to swoop this outwards on the corner of my eye to kind of create that shape for myself. And then I'm going to take an eyeshadow that is just a touch darker still and I'm going to pretty much do the same thing just in a little bit of a smaller area so that it kind of blends out. And I'm also going to bring this into my crease to start defining my eye a little bit. And I'm really taking my time with this because I want this to look very natural and good. So when that's done I'm going to take a light shimmery highlight color and I'm going to apply that underneath my eyebrow and also just on the inner corner of my eye and again I'm concentrating it on the top and on the bottom because I don't want to drag my eyelid down. So then it's time for the eyeliner. Now, as you guys will know, eyeliner was very popular in the 50s and the 60s. So I'm going to apply a liquid eyeliner or kind of a cream gelish eyeliner um, because it is matte. And I'm going to use this also to enforce that diagonal shape. So I'm going to make my eyeliner thinnest in my inner corner and then gradually widen towards the outside and make a slight wing that is very much diagonal outwards and upwards and this is again going to lift my eyes plus this shape of eye makeup was just very popular back at that time so then I'm just going back in with that shimmery highlight color and applying that onto my eye just a little bit again with everything I do I'm enforcing that diagonal shape so when that's done I'm just going to go back in and take a little bit of a black eyeshadow and just redefine my crease a little bit more because she has a very beautiful defined crease and I need to simulate that somehow. And I'm also applying a little bit of a white eyeliner just on my waterline because I noticed in some pictures that she was wearing white eyeliner on her waterline and it also just helps to reinforce that diagonal shape of the eye once again and especially if I do 
bring it out outside of my waterline underneath that liquid liner just a little bit. This really helps again to lift the eye. So then I'm just applying a little bit of mascara on my top lashes and just on the outer part of my lower lashes. And that is the eyes done, so moving on to the lips. Now Audrey Hepburn has a very typical lip shape, so I'm going to try and simulate that a little bit. So I am taking a little bit of that grey eyeshadow that I used earlier, and I'm just going to widen the corners of my mouth. It looks a little bit creepy, but it will look pretty natural in the end, I promise. So then I'm going to take a pinkish lipstick and I'm going to use this to draw in my lips on the top and I'm going to draw from my cupid's bow up until that new corner that I just created. So I'm going to make my top lip just a little bit wider than mine would naturally be. And I'm going to leave my bottom lip as it is because Audrey Hepburn's top lip is just a little bit wider than her bottom lip. So we're trying to simulate that effect here. So when I've done that, I'm just going back in with a brush and a little bit of concealer. And I'm just going to outline my lips with this to make the lipstick a little bit more prominent and neat. So then I'm going to take a little bit of a contour powder and I'm just going to contour my jawline to make my face a little bit less round and a little bit more like hers. And that is the last step. Now your makeup is done. So for hair, I found a photo shoot that she did with this hairstyle or something that looks like this hairstyle, which I think is pretty typical for her. Audrey Hepburn had short hair pretty much all her life. So I'm going to have to, again, try and simulate that somehow. So this ponytail style is pretty much the easiest one to do that with. So I'm going to make a side parting in my hair. So the side of my head where I have the parting, I am going to pull that hair back straight backwards, kind of upwards again. And this is not only enforcing that diagonal upward shape that I've been talking about pretty much all the time, but this is actually how she wore her hair. So yeah, just make sure to pull that back really tight and upwards. And then on the other side, I'm going to let this hair swoop back a little bit more loosely, let it fall over my face just ever so slightly, and then pull it back into that ponytail as well. So tie that off with a hair elastic. And then I'm going to take all of my hair and fold it in half. And this is going to create kind of the effect of a shorter ponytail. So with the very tips of my hair, I am going to wrap this around my hair elastic and pin that down with some bobby pins to make sure it stays in place. And that is your hairstyle done as well. So as far as style goes, like I mentioned, Audrey had a very simple, elegant style. She wore a lot of black, so I'd say definitely go with black if you're going for that iconic Audrey Hepburn look. A simple black turtleneck would be great, or a little black dress. And as far as jewelry goes, she didn't wear a lot of jewelry. In fact, I believe she mentioned that she likes to wear just you know, simple clothing and just a pair of earrings. So go easy on the jewelry, unless you're going for the kind of iconic breakfast at Tiffany's look, but that's a role she was playing. That's not actually her own style. So yeah, I just went for a black top, a little bit of a boat neck, which I think goes really well with this look. And there is your Audrey Hepburn look completely done. So I really hope you enjoyed this episode of Beauty Beacons, guys. Don't forget to leave your requests in the comments below for people you would like me to cover in this series. I want to thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!